What's good guys, I'm John the Chief, and for today's video it's on how to get the Angel Sword Blueprint in Dying Light. This is a legendary blueprint, probably one of the best in the game. It increases the damage of your weapon by a shit ton and adds a medium shock effect and a medium fire effect to your weapon. You get, uh, you get it after completing the quest called Troll from this little girl inside the same building that you get this Stasis Field Projector Blueprint. So. Now, for this quest, all you have to do is kill a demolisher. Very simple, very easy. You just go to the area that it tells you to do, and a demolisher will break out of a wall, and you just go and kill it, and then you turn the quest in to Rupert the Gunsmith. Now, in order to actually have access to this quest, you're going to actually have to do a couple more quests involving Rupert the Gunsmith from several places within the old town. Uh, this is actually a relatively long quest line. It'll probably take you about an hour to get to this quest. Now, when you finally kill the troll, it will take a little bit while, but then it will suddenly say that you killed it, and you can turn it into Rupert. He'll be in a faraway building, but it will just be a few grappling hooks away, don't worry about it, and you'll enter through the bottom uh, four, and there you'll talk to Rupert, and he will give you the Angel Sword Blueprint. Now, if you've been watching other one of my uh, Dying Light videos, you'll realize this is actually the blueprint, the modification that I used on my weapon that I used throughout all my other videos. It is my favorite blueprint so far. It gets the job done, and plus it has also a chain lightning effect with the, uh, with the lightning. It will shock other zombies too frequently when you land that critical hit. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys can use this angel sword blueprint and love it as much as I do, and have a good day, guys.